This video will show how to set up single sign-on for the Office 365 application using SAML protocol. First, we will configure LDAP as an authentication source in Mini Orange. After that, we will configure Office 365 as a service provider in Mini Orange. Then we will set up a federation between Office 365 and Mini Orange. At last, we will test the SSO for the Office 365 application. Now let's configure the LDAP as an authentication source. For this log into your Mini Orange admin dashboard. If you don't have an admin account, sign up by clicking the link in the video's description below. Go to the external directories from the left navigation bar. And then add directory. Select Store LDAP Configuration in Mini Orange option. If you want to save the configuration on-premise, you can choose Store LDAP Configuration on-premise option. Here, enter LDAP display name and LDAP identifier. Select directory type as Active Directory. Enter LDAP server URL or IP address. Click on the Test Connection button to verify if you have made a successful connection with your LDAP server. Enter the bind account DN and then enter a valid bind account password. Click on the Test Bind Account Credentials button to verify your LDAP bind credentials for LDAP connection. Enter the valid search base. It is the location in the directory where the search for a user begins. Select a suitable search filter from the drop-down menu. To use custom search filter, select Write your custom filter option and customize it accordingly. You can also configure the following options while setting up AD. Enable Activate LDAP in order to authenticate users from AD or LDAP. Enable Send Configured Attributes to add the attributes. The attributes configured here will be sent in attributes at the time of login. Then click on the Save button to add the external directory. Your identity source has been successfully saved. Now let's configure Office 365 as a service provider in Mini Orange Dashboard. Go back to the Mini Orange Dashboard. To add Office 365 as an application, go to the Setup App card and click on the Setup button. Now click on the SAML application type. Here search for the Office 365 application. Here, enter the custom application name. Go to the Attribute Mapping section. Select External IDP Attribute from the drop-down. And add Object GUID in the text box that appears. And save the application. Your app is configured successfully. Now click on Metadata from the drop-down to get metadata details. Go to the information required to authenticate via external IDP section, then show metadata details. And then click on the Download Federate Domain Script button. Here you cannot federate your default on Microsoft.com domain. To federate your Office 365 tenant, you must add a custom domain to Office 365. Enter the domain name that you want to federate and click Download. Federated domain script is successfully downloaded. Now let's set up the federation between Office 365 or Microsoft and Mini Orange. Open Windows PowerShell and then run the Federate Domain script using the following commands. Enter your credentials of global admin with dot on Microsoft Domain and click on Sign In. Your domain is now federated. Now let's test the Office 365 SSO login. Go to the office.com login page. Enter your email address. And you should be redirected to Mini Orange login page. Enter your Active Directory credentials and click on the login button. You will be automatically logged into your Office 365 account. I hope I was able to make you understand how to configure SAML single sign-on for Office 365 application. To enjoy a seamless authentication experience and delegate all single sign-on requirements with a click of a button, please feel free to reach out to us by email or in the comment section below and we will get back to you at the earliest.